Cheers everyone, this is Blaster Brewmaster here, and welcome back to Undertale. So, you'll have to forgive me if I sound a little bit off. I have been dealing with this whole week a cold. Yeah. So not the most pleasant of times, but I feel quite fine for recording today, so I figure I would do so. That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. No, sir. It certainly does not. Dougie, one day you will get there. You will make that art. Okay, so I've got to do the same sort of thing where I'm just making the... Okay. I gotta do the circles thing, the swinkles. So... Here... Hmm... Down... Here? Here... Hmm... No, okay, so I can already tell this is not going to work. Do I fall off and die? Okay, I fall off and die. I was wondering what was going to happen there, if it's going to die or not. It is a lump of snow with the word sands written on it in red marker. Something tells me that the difference between their snowmen. It is a snow papyrus. Of course, sands doesn't put as much effort into it as uh, papyrus does. So that would be why. So, okay, we've got to figure out here exactly how we're going to set up every one of these. So the last, okay, the last one there has got to be in the middle. That's the only way I'm going to be able to get over there. So that means that those would be second to last. Um, hmm. So it could be any of these little center three corners. So, okay, hold on. I think I got an idea here. This way, this way, then over here, then down here. I think this works. Down here. Yep, exactly what I thought. There we go. Figured that would work. Oh, uh, it's just taking me on a little convey. Okay, so it's ice there too. I had a little doggy. What the? What's up with the doggy? Speaking of doggies, a little doggy house. What a tiny doggy house. Well, dog house, I think it said, but I said doggy house, so. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore the sniffles, please. I still have a little bit of that cold. Wolf. Okay. That is a very deep statement to make. I mean, you sure you want to declare that? There's a snow poof. And this. Is a snow puff. What about this one? This, however, is a snow puff. Okay. And this one, surprisingly, it's a snow puff. And this, snow puff. And this, is it really a snow puff? I don't know. That's the question that you have to answer, isn't it? Behold, a snow puff. And this one, eh, there's 30G inside. What is this? It's a snow puff. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, so I will try to edit out some of the sniffling that I'm going to be doing. Because obviously I can't help it. Oh, is it Dougie? Hi, Dougie! Nope. It's an armored doggy. That's a cute one. <laughs> this is a greater dog. Let's see what he does. Greater dog. Check, pet, play, beckon, ignore. <laughs> Let's check it out. Six attack, four defense. It is so excited that it thinks fighting is just play. Oh, nope, ow. Didn't realize it was going to change in color like that. Waiting for my command. Okay. Uh, I am going to beckon it. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. Eww. Ah! Bad spot for it. Okay. It's seeking affection. Okay. Let's play. Greater dog is not excited enough to play with. Okay, well. Fuck you, doggy. Is seeking affection. So maybe I should pet it? Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is a pet by you. 
That giant thing? I don't really have much of a lab to be petting it. It gets so comfortable, it falls asleep. And probably, like, knocks out my leg. Zzz. Then it wakes up! It is so excited! Yay! Uh... What you gotta do? Oh, nothing. Okay. Greater dog is petting the ground with its front paws. Okay. Uh, let's start play now. You make a snowball and throw it to the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Okay. Still not doing anything. Greater dog wants some TLC. So... Mmm... Let's try to pet it again. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement slows. But, you still haven't pet enough! Ah! Ah! Crab monkey! Pet capacity is 40%. I guess I gotta... Uh, pet it more? You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Don't go and bark. Don't you do it. Raider dog is contented. Okay, so we can spare you now. I have one zero XP and 40 gold. Oh. Yep. <laughs> and then it puts his button in the armor. I could go also down, but let's go this way. Oh, this is a big bridge. Ah, there they are. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold! The gauntlet of deadly terror! Well, it actually looks kind of deadly. When I say the word, it will fully activate! Wait. The... But the, the, the doggy. The, the snow poof doggy. It's one of the... Okay, sure, let's go with that. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice! Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because... I... Am... About... To do it! Uh... Well? What's the holdup? Hold up? To what hold up? I'm... Uh, I'm about to activate it now! That, uh... Doesn't look very activated. Wow! Th th this challenge? It seems... Maybe... Too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah! We can't use this one! I am a skeleton with standards, alright? My puzzles are very... There. And my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. What are you looking at? This was another This was another decisive victory for Papyrus! Yeah! <laughs> okay. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Will do! I think I kind of understand him well enough. Welcome to Snowden! Okay. Shop! Hey, I can finally do something with my money. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Save! Okay. By the way, I just kind of remember, didn't I have a... What, what do I do with this tough glove? Info. Tough glove. Weapon at five. A worn pink leather glove for five-fingered folk. So I can't really use it. Well. What if I try to call... Ah. Uh, notorial. If that was something I could use the phone for? I don't know. 
It was a box? Yes, let's see what we got. Yep. Uh, okay, the box has nothing. The box was worthless. Shop. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Uh, I got 146G. Let's see what we got. Manly bandana. Hmm. Armor 7 defense. It has abs on it. That is my bandana right there. Holy crap. They put abs on the bandana. That's how you know it's manly. Okay, we're buying that. Hells yeah. Don't have to think twice. Okay, buy sickle. Wait. That... Is that an icicle pun? I think that's an icicle pun, isn't it? Okay, we can get a cinnamon bun. Yes. Alright, I think that's enough. Uh... I don't know that I got anything I want to sell. Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? Somebody finally thought about that in an RPG game. I don't know how it works where you come from, but... If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Okay, I kind of am appreciating this whole making fun of that. For his stuff. Let's talk. Care to chat? Say hello. Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? Uh, let's see, what to do here? You want to know what to do in here in Snowden? Grillbees has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. <laughs> There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Well, I, I can see that. Town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door has been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't locked when I came through there. Okay. So, let's see. Your life. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Okay. I think I'm done here, so... Let's get going here. Bye now. Come again sometime. Uh... Hold on, there's like a little flower here. Nope. Okay, never mind. I thought maybe I could do something with the flower, but I guess not. Uh... Ooh. Hi there. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. Let's make them a HP. I don't know, kid. But we're gonna go and try it. Welcome to Snowden. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80G. Do I have 80G? We'll find out in a moment. Nope, I don't even have it. Oh, you poor thing. I can only imagine what you've been through. One of the rooms upstairs is empty. You can sleep there for free, okay? Okay. Guess I didn't have to spend any money. Uh. Okay. That was interesting. Hiya! You look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible, because you were only up there for about two minutes. Okay. <laughs> Feel free to come back if you get tired. Alrighty. Sure. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? An igloo. 
Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Uh, I'm guessing that's what that is. Um, hmm. There's a whole bunch of things here, but I feel like I'm... Uh, it, there's just a bunch of stuff and I have no idea what I'm supposed to do and who I'm supposed to talk to. That looks kind of funny though. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget about our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Eh, okay. And you there. What's up with you and your little cross's eyes? We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyways. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? That's true. Might as well look up. There's a library. But where is Papyrus? And that's all. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. Okay, what about the one that's not? This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Okay. Look inside. Sure. It's empty. Not surprised. Uh, let's see. It's locked. Can I get in through the windows? Can I clean, climb up on the walls? Until the sweat drips off my balls? No? Okay. Uh, what about here? It's locked from the inside. So how are you, how are you supposed to get, you know what, never mind. Uh, I see a snow thing over there. Or like an ice block. Uh, I can't see. Hello? Anyone? Anyone? Uh, okay. Um. So. Oh. Papyrus, I think. Human! Allow me to tell you some complex feelings. About some complex. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... Be your what? Why is this stalling? No! No! This is all wrong! I can't be your friend! You are a human! I must capture you! Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream! Powerful, popular, prestigious! That's Papyrus! The newest member of the Royal Guard! So I have to fight with Papyrus. Okay, let's take a look at him. Eight attack, two defense. He likes to say, <laughs> True, he does. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, that didn't do anything. Okay. Preparing a bone attack. Uh. Ready to flirt with him? What? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings! Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming qualities. <laughs> uh, let's see. I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh no! The humility! It reminds me of me! Myself! You're meeting all my standards! Let's date later, after I capture you. Okay. I'm noticing I'm not having to move much. <laughs> Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Papyrus. Uh, let's flirt again. Sure. No, no. Let's date later, after I capture you. His bone attacks are not really that, uh, Useful. What to cook for his date. So, okay, let's try sparing him. So you won't fight. 
Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Sure. Okay. Well, not having to do much. So I guess I can handle it. Bah, what? You're blue now! I didn't see that one coming. That's my attack! <laughs> You're blue now. Music got kinda hot. Alright. Uh, should I try to flirt or should I try to mercy? A virus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Let's do it later, after I capture you. Okay, so I've got to jump, because it sinks otherwise. Interesting, so that's what really happens there. The pirate stabs marinara sauce behind his ear. He doesn't have ear, he sees a skeleton. Music, though, is definitely ball. Try to spare again. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Jump, jump. Jump again! Oh, crap. Another one! Holy... Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Dang. Papyrus dabs MTT brand Bishy Cream behind his ear. I have no idea what that even is. Okay, let's try another Mercy. Spare. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack! Whoa, crap. Ow! It didn't seem to jump as high as I thought it would. Ah! Whoa! Papyrus dabs MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. I don't even want to know. Let's try flirting now. Papyrus is too busy to fighting flirting back. I can almost taste my future popularity! Okay. Jump, 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 and freeze! Ow! Dad, it was dumb! That was a cheap shot! Papyrus dabs MTT brand cute juice behind his ear. Mercy once more. Spare. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. Whoa. Oh, crap. Oh, damn. He's getting kind of tough now. MTT brand attraction slime behind his ear. Okay. All right. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Spare. Papyrus Unparalleled Spaghettor! Ow! Oh, crap! Holy crap, it's turned into Flappy Bird! No! No! Ah! Get the bloody! Okay. MTT brand beauty yogurt behind his ears. It's like everything is MTT brand. Okay. Spare. Undyne won't be really proud of me! Um. Woohoo! And woohoo! Whoa, whoa, crap, they're faster. No, 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 no. Papyrus realizes he doesn't even have ears. I've told him that a while back, but sure. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Whoop. And whoop. And whoop. But, oh, wow. That hurt. Smells like bones. Uh, before we get... I'm kind of curious about this mandana. I gotta, I, I gotta try it. I gotta try the mandana. <laughs> you a quote manly bandana. My brother will, well, he won't change very much. Whoa, 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 dang it. Ah, shista. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Well, before we do that, I kind of need some, uh, let's do a cinnamon or uh, an ice cream. Are those claws natural? Is that the, that was the dice cream, right? Okay. You receive 15 HP. Okay. I'll have lots of admirers, but... Okay, whoop. Ah, crap, Flappy Bird. I hate the Flappy Bird sections. Ah, crud. Papyrus is cackling. Start sparing him again. Anyone like me as sincerely as you? Finally realizes the truth of it all. 
And a gag uh, No! No! Ah! Uh, okay. Papyrus is considering his options. Spare. Someone like you is really rare. Whoa! <laughs> Ow! Ow! Oh! Papyrus whispers. Yeah. <laughs> Dating might be kind of hard. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Ow. Ow. Whoop. 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 Ah. Whew. Okay. I already need to kind of go back and use the cinnamon. Wait, the cinnamon bunny. I thought it was a cinnamon. Cinnamon, cinnamon bun. Well, whatever. After you're captured and sent away. Oh. Ah, Who cares? Skip up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Ah. Ow. Trying hard to play it cool again. Give up or face my special attack! Whoop, whoop, whoop. And up, and whoop. Yikes! Smells like bones. Yeah! Very soon I will use my special attack! Yeah! Uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. And freeze! Now I knew it was gonna come from that direction. I saw that trying to do it. Mercy! Not too long and I will use my special attack! Wait, do I have to do something else now? I may have to do something else. I probably should do something else next. Uh, wait! Whoa! What? Okay. Let's try flirting again. He's too busy fighting. Okay. Well. Boop, boop, dip, boop, and dip. And jump. And up. Uh, and jump. Oh, but! Okay. Getting a little bit crazy here. Spare. Behold my spell! I thought. What the heck? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog! <laughs> the dog's eyes. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Spare again. Here's an absolutely normal attack. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, crap, ow. Ah, this is not very normal. No. Shit, this is gonna hurt. Ow, ow. Uh, wait, <laughs> there's a doggy. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Uh, wait. Um. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, it's clear. You can't defeat me. Yeah! I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is, Papyrus is sparing you. Well, I'll spare him instead. How about that? Mm. <laughs> no! I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Well, Diet's gonna be disappointed in me. I'll never join the. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. What a loser! Uh, let's be friends. Sure. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I 
guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you! Wowie! We haven't even had our first date! And I've already managed to hit the friend zone! Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human! I hereby grant you permission to pass through! And I'll give you directions to the surface! Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open a barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface! Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters! He is... Well... He's a big fuzzy pushover! Everybody loves that guy! I'm certain if you could... I am certain if you just say... Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer! Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself! Anyways, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date! <laughs> Guess he jumped over me. Onward to victory! Okay, big chunks of ice floating by. Uh, nothing there. There's hands. Hi there. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Wonder what happens if I re play it now. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. So I thought. And you. Yo. Are you sneaking out to see her, too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> Let's talk to Sans before we save and end this episode. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, the two jobs mean twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Well, I guess we're gonna kind of take a moment here first. Fast shortcut, huh? Yeah, it was pretty fast. Hey, everyone! Hey, Sans! Hi, Sans! Greetings, Sans! Hiya, Sansy! Hey, Sans! Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. Whoopee cushion again. Whoops! Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Weirdos like me. Anyways, let's order. What do you want? A boiger. I want a boiger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Realby, we'll have a double order of Berg. So, what do you think? Of my brother. Cool, uncool. Let's go with cool, because he seems like cool. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. I can see that. Boom! Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Kind of afraid of him passing me that. I'm gonna say no. More for me. Oh, he drinks the whole thing. 
Anyways, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries really hard. Like how he keeps trying to be a part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's... Uh... Still a work in progress. Sounds about right. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Or, what do we got? Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes, I certainly have. I've met him. So you know all about it. The echo flower. Well, that's not the flower that I was thinking of, but... They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery. Advice. Encouragement. Predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. That's not the flower I was thinking he was going to be talking about, so I'm kind of a little curious. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just... Uh, no. Just kidding. Grillby, put it on my tab. They get to take that. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Okay. So, okay, how do I get back? That's what I want to know. I wanted to save. 